I am Anil Kumar and here is solution of first set of questions where we have fractions involved and we need to solve equations. So we have three equations here. The first one is x over 2 minus half equals to half. B is x over 2 minus x over 4 equals to 3 over 4. And C is x over 2 minus 3 over 5 equals to 1. So these questions are similar with slight differences, right? The strategy, as we discussed earlier, is to find common denominator, right? So we say find least common denominator, in fact, right? So that is the first step. So in the first set of question, here 2, 2, 2, so least common denominator is equals to 2 in this case. Here 2, 4 and 4, so least common denominator could be 4. 2 and 5, both are prime numbers, just multiply them. So we get least common denominator as 10. So we are discussing this strategy at present, right? So once you know what the common denominator is, then what you need to do is times both sides. So do times least common denominator on both sides. So that is your next step to solve the question, right? So really, the question solution starts from here. Once you know the common denominator, copy the question. In this case, it is x over 2 minus half equals to half. So we know that least common denominator is 2. So multiply each term by 2. Do you see? Multiply each term by 2. So once you do that, you can actually simplify it, right? So what happens is that 2 gets cancelled here. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So now the equation which you get is x minus 1 is equals to 1. Do you get the idea? Now you can solve for x adding 1 on both sides, correct? So at this stage you can add 1 on both sides. When you add 1 on both sides, what do you get? You get x equals to minus 1 plus 1 is 0. On the other side you get 1 plus 1. So you get x equals to 2. So that is the solution, right? That is how you have to find the solution. Now let us follow these steps once again and find solution for part B. I like you to pause the video, try it out on your own and then check your solution. That way so you get practice also. So let me this time write with uh, space between them. So x over 2 minus we have x over 4 equals to 3 over 4, right? So I give one more space here. Lowest common denominator is 4. So I'm multiplying everything by 4. Do you see? Times 4, times 4, times 4. Each term is multiplied by 4. And then you simplify. Or at times what you can do is you can add one step here. 4 times x is 4x. 4x over 4. 3 times 4, 12. And then over 4. And after that simplify. But I recommend to simplify at this stage. It goes two times. Four goes one time. This is one time, right? Now you write down your equation. It is two times x. So we have two times x minus one times x, which is x, equals to three. Now two times x minus x is x. So you get x equals to three. You get the idea. So that is how you should be solving such equations, right? Now here is the last one for you. So in this case, what should you do? You have to multiply each term by 10. So what I will do here is, let me show you this solution in lesser number of steps. So we have equation x over 2. So we'll write x over 2 times 10. So we just multiply this by 10 minus 3 over 5 times 10 equals to 1 times 10. Let me write, you could write in brackets also, right? Times 10. So multiply each term by 10. Now simplify. So when you simplify this, you could cross, it goes 5 times. This goes 2 times and that is 10 itself. So the idea here is get rid of fractions. So we got get rid of fractions. So that is the policy to solve equations with fractions. So at this stage, you know, fractions are no more there. You have one in the denominator. 
So you get 5 times x minus 2 times 3 is 6 equals to 10. Now you can add 6 on both sides. So you get 5x equals to 10 plus 6. Do you get the idea? And combine them. So you get 5x equals to 16 or x is equals to 16 divided by 5. So you can get answers in fractions also. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.